I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for this matchup, man. Well, me too, honestly. I mean, uh, guys, both are very focused. They are waiting to just stand and bang. And we gotta cheer all the ring gears that are walking around. I've seen Vander fight before, but I've never seen Mahmoud Ramadan, and I'm very intrigued about his combat sambo skills. I don't know about the combat sambo in Egypt. Here we go. We fight is see. on. Lovely Steve Jap from Abdurrahman Vander Nail. I'm telling you guys, this guy's got some slick striking. He's got some good jabs and a low kick. Still in the feeling out process, and he frames, he frames Mahmoud Ramadan so that he can stop the wrestling attempt. But Mahmoud passes the frame. And he's now got Abdurrahman against the cage. I think he secured switches se onto the yes. leg. Trying to get two Double legs, leg. Double leg, and now he's got the takedown. Let's see what Mahmoud can do from this position. And guys, Mahmoud is a combat sambo practitioner. This is, these are his keys to victory. This is where he's most comfortable. I don't think he's comfortable in the striking against Abdurrahman Naib. How about that straight into mount after that takedown? And top control from Mahmoud Ramadan. Okay, but Abdurrahman Nail is reversing the position. Abdurrahman Nail reverses it in a weird way and he puts himself back in guard position. He's trying and to hold both hands to be able to secure one position to get out. I, re I reckon he wants to stay safe, to avoid any punches to the head. That's why he's holding so tight the head and hand. Yes. And now he's Ooh. throwing Ahmed is talking dirty about, elbow. Ahmed is talking about Mahmoud from bottom position. He's holding Abdurrahman Nail so that he can avoid Abdurrahman Nail's ground and pound. I Damn totally it. I agree with you. Now, I, I know this is a triangle attempt. Guys, but arm triangle. I know Abdurrahman's got top position, but I he think... He seems full, flexible, and he got... this is where Mahmoud wants the fight to be. Yeah, but his, his hand, his left hand. Ooh, it's gonna be a problem! And oh on. my goodness! Ooh. What a switch from Mahmoud! Mahmoud now is taking full triangle and ground and pound. He's in... Oh, Abdurrahman is in very big here, trouble. It's very dangerous for Abdurrahman Nail. Mahmoud secured the triangle position and then reversed him onto his back. And I now he's got mount position, but now he's back he's in out. triangle. Oh my goodness. And Abdurrahman Nail what slams him to get out of the triangle position. Yes, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is where Abdurrahman Nail wants the fight to be standing But Mahmoud up. is still confident though. Look at Mahmoud. He's, he's super confident. He's like, come on, I will try. I will get it once again. Oh, oh my God, God, he's he's what a flying what a knee, nice ladies and gentlemen. Knee, oh my goodness. Uh, van der Van der with the, Ooh, with the strikes. Knee. Look at that. That's beautiful, Ooh, man. Beautiful that flying knee by Van der. And now Mahmoud Ramadan's in the same position. We'll see if he can secure another takedown to avoid that guy's vicious striking. Glimpses of Habib Nurmagomedov, the world's, uh, the world's famous combat sambo practitioner. Come on, come on, lads. Let's not avoid. The way of Abdurrahman, I respect is that he is aware of the wrestling attributes that Van Dam has. So he's trying to avoid avoid it and trying to disengage, like I'm saying right now. And we'll see, we'll see what he can do on the on the on his feet. Ahmoud looks a bit wobbly. Love the jab, love the step jab from Van Der. Guys, I think I think the three-day notice is getting to Mahmoud Ramadan. I don't think his gas tank is ready for three rounds. His body it looks language, a bit tired to me. His body no, language I is think, not that good. I think he's acting. Do you think? Or this is ah, the type nah, of nah, his nah. style? I think he's acting tired. Do you? Yes. Maybe. We'll and, see. And Vander, you guys. Oh, 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 take down this from is, Vander. That's exciting. This, yes, this is a I plot twist, man. I thought he was in like, to stand and bang. And now yeah. he took him down. He told him, like, mate, I can wrestle to you. Yeah, man. Guys, Ahmed... His body language is not good at all. The man looks tired. And Abdurrahman Nail secures the both I think of the legs. Vander needs just to, to stretch him back of the fence because yes. the fence is going to make such a huge problem yes, to be the, able to get any submission. Yes, you know and I mean? it's going to make Mahmoud able to stand up. So Mahmoud needs to stay by the fence and Abdurrahman Nail needs to pull him back. I totally agree with you. Look how the tables have turned now. But you know what? I love these kind of elbows as well. You know, they are effective. You can feel him, you feel them right now, but I promise you, when you go home, you feel <laughs> a little swelling in your back of your head, the and it after. takes it takes weeks to be able to recover from it. Yes, of course. And guys, I know Abdurrahman Nail is controlling the round, but I believe this is not where he wants to be. I think he wants to strike with Mahmoud. If he lets his hand go, we might see a finish. You know what? 
I totally agree with you. But I'm telling you, if he get him off the fence, he might be able to finish him with the two. So I hope so. I like excitement. I like I like more heat in the fight. So I, know, I want that. You I know? don't know, Ahmed. We've never seen Abdurrahman Nael do some. Uh, we've never seen Abdurrahman Nael's BJJ game. We are see, we're trying to see right now. We're trying to find out. I'm getting so excited, so pumped. That's why I need more action. You feel me? Oh, the round, round ends over. with Abdurrahman Nael on top, securing a takedown. One takedown for one takedown. We'll see what happens next. Who do you give? Who do you give the edge for? I think Abdurrahman Nael because Mahmoud, red corner, right? Yes, Mahmoud, the blue corner looks tired to me. Mahmoud looks a bit tired, man. Yeah. We don't know. Maybe he recovers quick. We'll see, we'll see. I saw many multiple fighters before they are like they have that poker face and then when they get tired you they just seem to be more smart to make less movement but they are still looking for the finish they are waiting for to find out just one mistake to be able to shoot for it yeah, this and is... that's what I'm saying from the blue corner to be honest that's my point of view I don't know I met but but you, this is why they say it. you have to protect yourself at all times man Room. I'm not saying Mahmoud has no chance, but I, I believe he's a bit tired. Yeah, that's why Vander now Ooh. is more aware of his wrestling game. So he tried to break him mentally, so he took him down. And was, that was surprising, but yes. like imagine Khalid, you are in a fight and you are a wrestler. So your game plan is just to wrestle. And, and then the, the other guy takes take you down. down it's going to be like, smart. what the what the heck has just happened? I'll be, yes. uh, I'll be super surprised in the meantime. Actually, very smart. Mohamed Salem, Mohamed Salem, the head coach of the vendor he's giving him some advices and i'm trying to get the, tell him to pull the trigger right now shout out to the beautiful ringo making her way out of the cage here we go second round now as the first round uh, the second round starts both of these fighters are standing up lovely low kick from the rear corner Look at uh, Mahmoud is now is getting his hands up. He is well aware that he can get banged in his face. That's why his hands up right now. And guys, Abdurrahman Nail's unorthodox hand movement in the air. Th this is very deceiving for the opponent. I know if this is jab or cross. He is orthodox, but he threw it like a, like a cross. You know what yes, I mean? He yes. changed his stance while he's throwing his jab. Yes. But that's very weird. Whoa! Ooh. What a lovely hook, then cross, and he and Mahmoud telling him, "Give me more. Give me some more." Oh my goodness. I and think Abdurrahman is finding his way. Yeah, finding his way to his head and the body. He's trying to read him, break him, and the other guy, Mahmoud, is smiling back to him, trying to find the shoot. But he's flat-footed, so he can't do nothing right now. We shall see. Abdurrahman Nail switching between southpaw and orthodox. Oh, lovely cross! He can fight in both stances like, for sure. Khaled, did you back. see that cross? Yes. He's orthodox and keep doing it. It was a very good, good cross from southpaw position. You know, position. if he added one right head kick, he will be down. Right hand kick. Oh, what a shot! That was clean shot, and now Mahmoud Ooh. is wobbling. Mahmoud was wobbling right now. Game back to the fence. This doesn't look good for Mahmoud. Oh, lovely body shot and cross. Oh, 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 and he got it. Oh, 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 Beautiful, beautiful striking by Abdurrahman Nail. I told you guys, this guy's a problem on the feet. I think it's because of his feints. He's getting those reactions and he saved that reactions inside of his brain. And he knew that that body shot would be open for him. And he took that chance. And here we see the fight is over. And that body shot, man, that was brutal. Yeah, Straight that to the beautiful. Face. That he's, was beautiful. I'm telling you guys, this, body this, shot. this body shot is going to be on the, one of the best highlights in the world. Literally in Egypt, we haven't seen that before. So that kind of high level intensity of pure violence on the stand up. We are waiting for to see that. And here we are in Kodia. In Kodia, we are witnessing greatness right now. And now to Raqib announcing the winner. After one minute and 30 seconds of the second round, the referee declared a stoppage due to a liver shot, declaring the winner by technical knockout, Abdurrahman! 
and respect to his opponent, guys. The guy took the fight on three days' notice. But I'm not taking any way, anything away from Vander. I've, see, I've said this before the fight. This guy's ve got very dangerous striking game. And now he's on top of the cage. Very happy, ecstatic, as he should be.